After a few years, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur was invited to a conference. It was a very, very important conference. It was arranged by the Brahmanas. And these Brahmanas, they were uh, propagating that in order to become a Brahmana, you have to be a fortunate soul. After you perform so many uh, pious activities in your lifetimes, then you get the birth of a Brahmana. And they were propagating the caste system that Brahmanas are the best. And in that way, the only thing they wanted was to just get money. Oh, you're sinful. We are Brahmanas. You're sinful. If you want to get rid of your sins, pay us money. We'll perform some puja and you'll get rid of your sins. They were just using the uh, spiritual spirituality as a way of earning their livelihood and earning their money. It wasn't uh, it wasn't for patan patan yajan yajan. Brahmana, his activities is to uh, learn, is to hear and read and distribute. Patan patan, yajan yajan, perform yajna ourselves and then uh, share it with the world. But these Brahmanas, they were, they were saying, no, Brahmanas are even higher than the Vaishnavas. If you are a Shudra, whether you're chanting the holy names, whether you're whatever else you're doing, it doesn't matter. Are you a Brahmana? You're not a Brahmana, disqualified. You cannot talk about scriptures. You cannot be taken seriously. And Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, his his um, confirmations were that Shamananda Pandit is one of our Acharyas. He's a great Acharya. He's a pure devotee. He was not a Brahmana. But his disciple, Rasikananda Prabhu, was a, was a Brahmana of the highest caste. But he took initiation from Shamananda Prabhu, who is not a Brahmana. That means these exalted Brahmanas like Rasikananda Prabhu understood a Vaishnava is, is beyond the Varnashram system, beyond the caste system. Narutam Das Thakur was not a high class Brahmana, but Ganga Narayan Chakravarti, he was the Chakravarti of Brahmanas. He took initiation from Narutam Das Thakur. So he, his understanding was, yes, Brahmanas are to be respected, but a Vaishnava is higher than a Brahmana. And the leader of the Radharaman temple, Madhusudan Goswami, they were depending on Bhaktivinoda Thakur to come to this conference and present the Vaishnava point of view and defeat these Brahmanas and defeat the caste system. The way the caste system was implemented based on just birth, but not quality. Chaturvarnya Maya Srishtam. Guna Karma Vibhagasha, which means this caste system, Chatur Varna, these four Varnas, is created by me, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita. But it's, it's based on uh, Guna and Karma, one's qualities and one's activities, not by Janma, not by birth. And so he wanted uh, all of these, uh, the, the, uh, Shamananda Goswami Sampradaya from Orissa, they wanted Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur to come and defeat these misconceptions and establish the true conception of the Varnashram system as per Bhagavad Gita. Unfortunately, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur got sick and he could not go to the conference. And he felt, who, who else can go to this conference? And, and relay the, the whole essence of Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya in a way that it, it respectfully defeats the Brahmanas. And so Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur volunteered. Just a young boy, he volunteered, I will go. So then Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur said, okay, you can go. And he went there and he started telling about scriptures from scriptural 
he heard from the brahmanas the brahmanas were saying the same old thing and then when shula bhakti siddhanta saraswati was supposed to say he came up and he defeated all the misconceptions based on shastra he said jare dekho tare kaho krishna upadesh how come krishna is saying uh, lord chaitanya is saying go and give this upadesh to everyone kiba vipra kiba nyasi shudra kebe noy jai krishna tatva veta shai guru hoy who is guru one who understands krishna tatva not whether it doesn't matter kiba vipra kiba nyasi doesn't matter whether he's a brahmana doesn't matter whether he's a sanyasi or not shudra kebe noy doesn't matter if he's a shudra all that matters is does he know krishna tatva and then there were three days of debate and shula bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur completely smashed the misconceptions that were created by the brahmanas and he challenged he first started by glorifying the brahmanas when he started his speech he started glorifying the brahmanas and half of his speech was just glorifying brahmanas and the brahmanas were like wow this person he is telling things that that we want to hear and then the then shula bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur started describing about all the scriptures how a vaishnava is higher than a brahmana and in this way the entire public who had come there was completely convinced of the conclusions of shula bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur and and uh, and the the police at that time was very very much afraid because everyone was coming to the stage jumping to the stage to get the dust of the lotus feet of shila bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur and so the the police came they stopped the crowd and they said oh, okay okay we will give you you everyone will get the dust of the lotus feet and they told bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur this is a bucket of water can you please put your lotus feet on this in this bucket of water and then they went and they started uh, distributing this bucket this water throwing it on all the public and everyone was so satisfied this was the glory of shila bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur 